So Brian Danielson comes down to the ring, and he's so excited to be back here in Phoenix. And he talks about how MJF had beaten up and hospitalized William Regal, his mentor. And out comes and, MJF. And, uh, and, and broken the arm of his buddy Christopher Daniels yeah. and um, put a bounty out on his head. So, um, yeah, interesting. So MJF comes down to the ring, and this is this week's story. He says that uh, I have been abandoned by everyone that I've ever loved, and I finally found a girl who changed me to the point where I got down on my knee and I proposed to her, and well, I said I did, want to start... He, he did just get engaged not he that long ago. He did just recently get engaged. He said, I, 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 I yeah. proposed to her. I wanted to start a family. I wanted to have children. I wanted to do all of that. And then he says, she left me. And the fans legit? chant, you deserve it. I don't know if that's legit. Um, I, know, a lot I, of these... I, see, a I, lot I, of these things with MJF, here's the thing. The one about the, uh, the car accident, you know, the, the promo started... And, uh, and it was all true, but then the until end of the, the end. story was until not the true. End. Until the end of the story, and, which wasn't true, right. And and he does take a lot of stuff from his, his personal life to put in well, his you know, the Regal, the, you know, the Regal stuff with the, with the faxes and all that, that was all true. Yep, and uh, and he did, in fact, get engaged recently, so he that sure part did. was true. Yes. Now, whether she left him or not, I don't know if that's true. That I might just either. be part of his story here. But uh, but he did claim that now the issue is that Brian Danielson has a wife and he has children and he has a happy family and he has everything that MGF doesn't have. And thus he hates him for it. And he also hates him because Brian Danielson has had multiple concussions. He claimed more concussions than anybody in the history of wrestling. And he's still getting in the ring, which to him means you love wrestling more than your family. You love wrestling more than the one thing. Thing that I've always wanted that I can't have. And so that's why he hates Brian Danielson. And then, you know, he's just on fire with this promo. And then he says, I am going to say something to your children. And Brian Danielson says, if you say one word about my children, I am going to beat your ass. And my only issue with this promo is MJF then looks in the camera and does it. and he starts cutting a promo on Brian Danielson's children. Not on and them. Brian Danielson. He's, he's he's looking at he's looking at the camera and going, Birdie, buddy. Well, exactly. But the whole point is Danielson has to stand in the ring while MJF is is giving a message to his children by name. I know he should have. I thought, bro, this guy should have run out jumped, of the ring he and beat out the quicker. shit out of this guy. Absolutely. Should have jumped yeah, out so quicker. I think what they wanted to do was make sure that MJF could get into the ring for the pull apart. But you could have done the pull apart on the floor. Like the moment he said birdie and buddy, Danielson should have been out of that ring going after this guy. And bro, then you, all the people come okay, down to break know, up okay, the fight. Okay, okay, so what they should have done, because they... They wanted him to get really, um, you know, they wanted him to build up heat, and it did build up heat. I mean, it did work. What they should have done is they should have run the security in and had the security hold Brian back while he cuts that promo, and then they can get in the ring and do, and then get in the ring and do the brawl. Because you're right. I mean, him doing the promo was was very effective and was was, um, you know, and 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 built the thing well. So that didn't bother me as much as the fact that. But Brian should not have allowed that. So they should have had a, had a, you know, kind of like that that thing of okay, how when we when we're discussing this, how do we keep Brian from attacking him? Which of course he should have done. And it's like okay, this is when we send the security in. We have ten guys in there holding him back while he's cutting the promo, and then he breaks free, and then we have the big brawl. So they had this great brawl, big pull apart brawl. And uh, they broke free several times. They doing these sorts of things, and then uh, that was it. That's the bill. Well, the, That's, the, the, they got the key, one more week. The key spot was that he did, you know, and they showed it over and over again. Is that he did this running start, and he nailed MJF with this blow, and MJF just went down. And I mean, that was like the key. Is he went, you know, and they showed it again, and and you know, the thing is, is that. He did, you know, when, when the thing was over, he nailed him with that great punch or whatever it was supposed to be, the great forearm. And, um, you know, so, so yeah, we got, uh, yeah, we got um, 
I mean, that was pretty much the, I think that's the peak angle. I don't know what they're going to have from after this. I mean, they got one more week on Dynamite um, to do, you know, something else. But, um, you know, I mean, as far as, I thought this was a really good main event. I thought it was a great angle, actually. I thought that it was. This was uh, an excellent go-home angle. So Absolutely. absolutely. I mean, either they're and not they, on the show last week. Maybe they're both prohibited well, they have to from be being a, at the show or no, something. They have, they have to be on the show. They have to, they have to promo. They have to promo next week. It's the main event on a pay-per-view that, that needs that promo. But, um, you know, yeah, I, I thought that, uh, you know, they, they it's it's been well built, but I think this really drove it home. This was really good business, I thought. Poor Steffi. Every time she comes out, she gets... Poor Steffi, all right. Yeah. Any, anyway, she, her and her dad were in the in the ring, and he was oh, going to give gonna her... it's going to be quite a review a, tonight. He was going to give her a trophy for something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the good old days. And then... Uh, Shane tells his dad he wants to run Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this is insane. Meanwhile, right. there's gigantic news in the world of wrestling that we're not talking about because we got to talk about a Raw from 25 years ago. Yes, Granny? Can I stay long enough to hear what the news is? I know what it is. Well, we don't know what the news is officially, Granny, so just tune in tomorrow. No. <laughs> what a crummy show. Oh. Wow! What do you want me to do about it? What the... If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.